Made with minimal effort, this Instant Pot white chicken chili is creamy, cheesy, hearty, and a true family favorite. Hi everyone, Kristen here. As someone who suffers from a chronic disease, I believe homemade is best, but it doesn't need to be complicated. When it comes to chili, I've shared a lot of chili recipes with you, from classic beef chili to veggie chili to a red chicken chili. But today, I'm sharing with you my family's favorite, white chicken chili. This chili recipe results in a creamy, cheesy chili that is filled with chunks of tender chicken and creamy white beans and oh, it's perfectly spiced. It's just plain good. So let's get cooking. Now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a package of cream cheese and just let it sit at room temperature while we prep our chili and while it pressure cooks. We're gonna add the cream cheese after our chili pressure cooks to give it a nice creamy finish. After that, we wanna turn our Instant Pot to saute and add in just a little bit of olive oil. Once our oil is heated, I'm adding in one diced onion, two cans of diced green chilies. Make sure your chilies are labeled mild, not spicy, or this chili will be a little bit too spicy, especially for those sensitive palates. Two teaspoons of cumin and one teaspoon of dried oregano. We're gonna saute that up until our onion becomes softened. It'll just take a couple minutes. Now that my onion is softened, I'm adding in two teaspoons of minced garlic. We're gonna saute that for just about a minute, just so that our garlic and spices can toast and really develop their flavor, but we don't wanna burn that garlic. And we're gonna hit cancel on our Instant Pot. And now you know the drill. We must scrape up the brown bits on the bottom of our inner pot to prevent a burn notice. To do so, I'm adding in a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth and then I'm just going to scrape, scrape, scrape all those brown bits. Once I've got up all those brown bits, I'm going to add in the remaining chicken broth for a total of four cups. I'm also adding in two 15 ounce can of white beans that have been rinsed and drained. And now for our chicken. You can use boneless, skinless chicken breasts or chicken thighs, and you can use fresh or frozen chicken. I have frozen chicken today that I'm nestling in the broth and then I'm gonna season with a pinch of salt. And that's it. We're gonna pop our lid on our Instant Pot. We're gonna make sure our vent knob is pointed towards seal. And now to set cooking time. For fresh chicken, you're going to cook for 15 minutes on high pressure, and for frozen chicken, you're gonna cook for 20 minutes on high pressure. Hit manual or pressure cook, and then use the plus or minus buttons to adjust to 15 or 20 minutes. Once the cooking time has elapsed, do not do a quick release of pressure. To do so will result in tough chicken and hot liquid spewing everywhere all over your kitchen. Instead, let pressure release on its own for 15 minutes. Then you wanna open up your Instant Pot. Already smells so good. We're gonna remove our chicken to a cutting board and just let that rest for a minute. While our chicken is resting, I'm gonna ladle out about two cups of the cooking liquid in here. It's okay if you get a few beans in there and I'm gonna place it in a blender. And now we're gonna add four ounces of softened cream cheese to the cooking liquid here in the blender. And we're gonna pop our lid on our blender. Now make sure you leave the blender lid partially open so that the steam can escape when you're blending. And we're gonna blend this until it's nice and creamy. I find that this is the best way to incorporate cream cheese into a soup so that there's no lumps or clumps, and it just guarantees a really nice, creamy, smooth finish. Once that's blended, I'm gonna add that back to my inner pot. I'm gonna shred up my chicken using two forks, and then I'm gonna add the chicken back to the inner pot as well. I'm gonna give that a good stir, then I'm gonna pop my lid back on my inner pot, and just let it sit for a couple minutes just to warm through. Won't take long at all. Now I'm ready to dish it up. You can top with additional cheese, some sour cream, some diced avocados, serve with cornbread or chips on the side, however you like. I'm gonna go in for a bite right now. Mmm. So creamy, so cheesy, so perfectly spiced. I'm telling you, this one, it's a keeper. 
But if you're looking for a traditional chili recipe, be sure to check out my next recipe where I show you how to make instant pot beef chili. Until then, happy cooking.